Low Season Travel by Hans Down is the best option for tourists on a budget. Fantastic savings on lodgings, airfare, and even water sports. And the prices are literally lower than like the summer seasons and the spring break season and of course like Christmas. So I do make every effort to go in the So I'm not sure if you know, but the Caribbean offers year-round temperatures between mid-70s and 80s. So it is literally the best time to travel in these conditions. And of course, since Jamaica is in the Caribbean, it is no different. So from mid-November to mid-December, when resort and flight prices are at their lowest, and the peak season has not really yet started, it is the ideal time to come to Jamaica point blank comma dash dash <laughs> the greatest time to travel to jamaica if you don't mind the crowds is from mid december through to april when the climate is kind of ideal for a beach trip so basically you want the low prices you come in the first thing right but if you don't mind the crowns and you want the ideal beach experience and you know sun today and everything is up and running and everybody wants to you know impress tourists and whatever then yeah the second thing <laughs> So you know Jamaica has a population of around 3 million and has a strong, strong international reputation for everything from athletics to music and its delicious Blue Mountain coffee, not to mention food, of course the people and you have the culture. You know Jamaica has 14 parishes and 3 major cities which draw a large number of visitors each year to popular destinations like Mobay, Yabu. Ocherios, and of course you have new grill if you want to have like a little slow with your couple bay and you go, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> the peak travel period normally starts middle december like i said and lasts till april of the following year the island has a high of activity during this time and a lot of visitors are kind of rushing to popular attractions and beaches in an effort to make the most of their trip for your travel during this time remember to bring insect repellent you have your sunscreen and of course you have your sun hat if you want you can i think i have some travel essentials i don't think it's like a general thing i'm going to make a video on that but there is a travel essentials when you go into a hotel because i know a lot of you guys are going to hotels and then i also did a video on if you're staying at an airbnb what to expect and i also did a video if you're staying at a hotel what to expect you know when covid was kind of like and the restrictions are kind of like so if you want you can just hop on those i have a list in the description of all the videos that i mentioned so you don't have to worry about getting lost or if you want to just go on my channel then by all means just do that too so additionally you want to reserve your resort at least three months in advance to guarantee that you can stay in your area of choice you know since everybody and them dog coming down you want to get sure that your place that you want to visit is not booked out but if you want to go in christmas which everybody wants to do come to jamaica to avoid the winter and all that good stuff because you know you don't want to freeze off your bottom i would suggest you reserve that a year in advance just to get your hotel or airbnb of choice these months are running from July to October and the low season travel can result in fantastic savings on lodgings, airfare and even water sports. Like anything you want, it is available to you. Low season travel by hands down is the best option for tourists on a budget because you know you have more enticing rates, you can actually save on budget and have more money to do whatever you want to do. If you want to add another tourist attraction, if you want to go on an extra excursion, if you want to go to another country in a couple of months after this trip to Jamaica, then you can actually do that if you travel during low seasons. So the months that I told you before, travel during that. I know a lot of people are just like, well, if everybody travels to the countries during the low season, wouldn't the demand go up? Well, I mean, 
slow season for a reason like you have persons who can't get off work you have um a lot of things like normally people love to go during the christmas time people love to go during summer spring break and all those things because you know they can strategize on when to go and when the kids come off of school and all that good stuff so those are the high times where everybody kind of goes so we have to be strategic and we have to be smart about it and go during the low season so when you have to book your um time off or your vacation leave just book in the low seasons if you have to leave the kids leave the kids left them in the school make a neighbor make a neighbor <laughs> Make your neighbor babysit them or you know you have the eldest child babysit or something and have somebody checking on them every now and then. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy the budget friendly low seasons guys. Enticing rates. Low 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 rates. Yeah. So of course you have shoulder season in Jamaica and this spans around mid-April to mid-July and mid-November to mid-December. Yes, and it comes between the peak season and the low season. So you want to also make your effort to strategize around that. It is simpler to negotiate a favorable bargain because the rates are low year round and the weather is as sunny as the high season. So it's like literally the, 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 the optimal season to go, if that makes any sense at all. So during the shoulder season, there will still be enough going on to keep you busy, but you'll have more of the island to enjoy it yourself. Like, I can't stress this you know I think I personally take vacation around that time because you know it is my birthday during that time and I do see considerably less persons around the place and the prices are literally lower than like the summer seasons and the spring break season and of course like Christmas <laughs> Christmas and leading up to New Year's yeah so I do make every effort to Go in the shoulder season tell me down below guys which seasons do you normally take vacation and which seasons would you see yourself in jamaica because i would love to know so we're going to also talk about jamaica summer versus jamaica winter and when to travel if you have to travel during those times right you really don't want to hear the word winter but in the caribbean and especially jamaica it does not matter summer literally never ends all right there are two distinct seasons however in the area so there's a wet and dry season which represent the major variations in the climate throughout the year in jamaica so after the wet season or a rainy season which typically last from July to October comes the dry season which is more predictable and the weather is less tropical and you know you, you don't really see the rainfall as much so it's really hot and of course you can see the highest recorded temperature in Jamaica is 91 degrees Fahrenheit and then you see in January with highs of 82 degrees Fahrenheit that is typically the coldest month in the year <laughs> so even though Jamaica is a small island you'd find that the towns have a slightly different climate like you can see where Mandel is cold 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 and then Kingston is hot as hell <laughs> <laughs> when you decide to stay at a hotel or in a certain parish just find out the weather conditions and which parish is kind of more bearable because you have parishes where it is just hot like hot hot <laughs> so make sure you check that out and make sure you do your research before coming you remember the three major cities the grill you have Ocho Rios and you have Mopay of course you have the liquid sunshine which is rainfall in Jamaica as I typically call it and that is October which is near the end of the wet season and it is the wettest month in Jamaica so have you ever had plans for a trip to Jamaica not to worry guys because there will be plenty of hours in the day filled with sunshine and the mild temperatures once the tropical downpours come and go because you know it can even rain for a minute, I kid you not. At the least rainy and driest time in Jamaica is February and March. I don't know why, but let's just go with it. These months fall 
right in the center of the busiest year in Jamaica. So, like I was saying, in comparison to the Creel, Mobe and Ocho Rios, you'll get less rainfall, but don't let this deter you from visiting the amazing beaches. Like, those parishes have like the best beaches in Jamaica. But if you decide to go in the, the wet season, rainfall is usually just average. Like, there's a balance. That whole corridor is just balanced. Like, it rains when it has to, when it gets too, too hot. It doesn't rain and then mess up your excursion. Like, it rains and then it stops and then you kind of cool down and everything. And then at nighttime, it's nice and cool. And daytime, you have some winds and you're just like, yeah, man. It's not going to leave you baking out like chicken. Let me just, let me just, let me just answer the question that you guys want to know because you've been asking since I started and I'm here rambling on. <laughs> when is the best time to go to Jamaica? So honestly, it all depends on what you hope to gain out of your trip to this beautiful Caribbean island and whether or not you decide to visit dry season, wet season, high season, low season, shoulder season. So other than that, I would say just do your research, ask somebody that went before, ask a local if you can get your hands on one of them, like me. But I will tell you to go during the shoulder seasons. They're the, they're like the, the mm, chef's kiss. So all in all, it's your decision. I just have to give you advice and I hope you take it because you know, we're all about budgeting. And we're all about enjoying our time to the fullest so i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to wrap up real fast i'm going to go about my business and i hope you guys have a great day great week great month great year it does not matter as long as it's great and i will see you in the next video bye